hi guys so this is an uh, not a normal video. this is a very unusual video uh, I hope this will be the last of its kind so I had this uh, chalice on you see these small bumps uh, in my eyes for last six months and tomorrow uh, I'm getting uh, rid of them so I'm having the operation operation uh, tomorrow so uh, I'll take you guys through it and I'll uh, you know tell how it goes and uh, I'll keep you guys updated about it so if any of you get these so you'll have some sort of guide and a heads up for it so yep yeah, so uh, I'll uh, meet you guys after the operation okay so I have the uh, appointment at the uh, 8 a.m. in the morning uh, so now I'm gonna leave uh, uh, the hostel uh, to the hospital so uh, I'll take you guys through it uh, so, but I won't be I, I don't think it will be possible to record the procedure uh, we'll see how it goes so right now I'm at the uh, hospital uh, I'm waiting in the queue uh, to get the surgery done and there's a this is a bit crowded place so you see how it goes. So I got dressed uh, for the surgery. They'll call me in now in time and uh, I'll meet you guys after the surgery. Yeah, so uh, just got out of the operation room and uh, they asked me to keep this on uh, till the evening and uh, they gave me some antibiotics. So uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys in uh, after several hours. Let's go. Yeah, so uh, right now I removed my eye patch. You can see it's very red, it's very reddish. Uh, so this is after approximately four hours after the operation. So you can see there's some blood there. That's really bloody. And uh, I gotta say, uh, it hurts a bit. And you can see that uh, some, uh, you know, you can see, yeah, some blood is there. Yeah. So it hurts a bit, and uh, it's a bit bad than I expected but i am recovering so yeah so this is i i i uh, spoke with the doctor and she assured me that this is a normal thing uh, a normal part of the recovery process so it will get worse a bit in the beginning some swelling will come but it will go away so yeah i'll keep you guys updated so now it's uh, been 24 hours since the surgery and the swelling is still there but it's reduced and the redness of the eye is also reduced uh, yeah and the place where they put stitches it's somewhat still sw swollen and I, I still have that uh, foreign body sensation in my eye so yeah they asked me to come on Monday. That's me like in uh, four days to cut the stitches. So yeah, I'll keep. Hi guys. So it's been uh, two weeks uh, since the surgery, uh, and I would say uh, it looks fine. See, uh, I don't see anything popping up back again. And see, it's the color is also. See, it's. Uh, yeah, it's pretty normal once again yeah so uh i mean after the first week i made a complete recovery so i but i waited you know another week you know in case if, to see whether it gonna reappear or not so but yeah thankfully uh it did not so yeah that was my uh what you call uh journey <laughs> with the chalice on yeah so uh me being a medical student myself so uh i thought to give you guys uh, some sort of tips because make sure if you have a chalazion 
that surgery is the last resort it's not the first thing you uh, have to do uh, don't not ever think about it make sure that it's the last resort so uh, <clears throat> i would uh, I'll, i'll tell you some tips to cope with the challenges if you have and in many cases it will go away on its own uh, with help of these stuff so the first thing is hot compress uh, i would recommend to uh, do it uh, you know twice a day uh, for 10 to 15 minutes uh, hot compress you know like not very hot water uh, because it can damage your eyelids and your eye so you know mild hot water soak in a cloth then uh, you can do it and right after you uh, do hot compresses make sure that you massage your eyelids you know if you have the chalice on your uh, upper lid then uh, do it like downwards like this and if you have it in your lower lid uh, then like do like this in a upright mo motion because a chalice here it's uh, it's basically you know debris clogged up in uh, meiobian glands there are glands called meiobian glands in our eyelids uh, that uh, secrete a fluid to keep our high eyes uh, you know moist moisters and hydrated or some sort of thing so <clears throat> technically when those glands you know clogged up that's what we call it chalice here so uh, when you uh, apply heat on it you loosen up the clog and with the massages you just you know uh, take the debris out through the gland so that's what you do and the other th important thing is uh, eyelid hygiene so eyelid hygiene is very important because uh, you know like mild uh, bacterial infections they can lead to uh, chalcedonies too so uh, you know because they can irritate the gland and you know gland can mess up this so uh, what i did was i uh, took a baby soap and i soaked it in water then i uh, took a cotton bud and i you know i dipped it on the soft water and i you know, like in this motion like i was do outwards i uh, clean my eyelids uh, yeah that should help with it so uh, this is what you can do at home uh, and you know uh, some uh, would recommend to do the hot compress like uh, that you can put a tea bag to the uh, water yeah because like this is it has some sort of like uh, antibacterial uh, any like uh, effect or something in uh, tea bags yeah but i don't know you can try that also so these are the uh, stuff you can do by yourself like do them for like one to two weeks or like this for a month if it still doesn't go uh, you should go and visit an uh, ophthalmologist and then uh, he or she might you know uh, prescribe you with some uh, steroid drops uh, or some antibiotic drops like uh, topramycin nedostromycin you they might give you some sort of this stuff and yeah i think in many cases uh, with home remedies and with these ointments it should go away it will go away but if it does not uh, and um, you know if you have a chalice here for more than 6 months and if or if you have multiple chalice here in uh, your eyes uh, then um, sadly uh, i think surgery is the only way that can that you can be helped you know uh, so yeah the, if nothing helps you i'm sorry you guys have to uh, to the surgery but make sure that it is the last resort that you do not bug your uh, ophthalmologist in the first few weeks for a surgery Uh, because uh, believe me it is not that easy i, I mean it's not life threatening or something but it hurts after the surgery like <laughs> it did for me and uh, yeah i mean the surgery is like don't worry nothing will go wrong it's a very simple procedure and it hurts because of course it it's supposed to because you have cuts in your eyelid so it will hurt and uh, for me uh, i wasn't able to open Uh, my eye for two days uh, because it hurts a lot that's why so uh, so with the pain uh, like you can have some you know paracetamol to cope with the pain for me it did not help so i had some diclofenac tablets and or uh, if you you know ask your ophthalmologist 
psychologist, uh, he or she might prescribe you with some sort of uh, ticophenic uh, eye drops and uh, they also might uh, prescribe you with some sort of uh, vitamins uh, eye drops so that it will uh, speed up the process of healing. Yeah, so uh, it's nothing, it's, it's not a life threatening surgery, it's a very simple procedure. It will take at least 20, around 20 minutes for the thing to get done and uh, the only thing is like it will hurt a bit after the procedure because uh, I before the surgery I went through uh, many YouTube videos about bloggers uh, you know sharing the experience but no one uh, told how uh, painful it can be after the procedure so uh, when it happened to me I, 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 was, I was like it's like oh it's something wrong then uh, I went to my ophthalmologist again and uh, she assured me that it's normal, that it's fine and all. Uh, so yeah, so if it hurts after the surgery, yeah, it's normal. And um, and I think uh, after the first week, uh, your vision will be normal because for the first week, uh, my this eye was somewhat blurred. The vision was somewhat blurred. Uh, it's because of the uh, you know uh, bruising and all. So it uh, it led to the blurred vision, but now it's fine and. Uh, yeah, I think uh, that uh, was worth it. It was hard, but it was worth it. Uh, so uh, I hope this video helps you. Uh, and if you are about to do the surgery, I mean, like, you don't have to be scared. It is fine. You will make it through, uh, you know. So good luck with your surgery. And uh, but always make sure that surgery is the last resort and you try the stuff that I mentioned earlier before you uh, opt for surgery. Yeah, so uh, till we meet again with another video. Bye.